basically I used inching degrees of gunk. I spent maybe like three dollars or something like that. You know, if your car is very dirty, I will recommend two of them. And then I use plastic bag or cut them and cover electronic from the top, electronic components, you know. This can be the fuse box, the fuse box, um, battery, definitely remove the negative terminal from the battery. And other areas that have, you know, wires, you want to wrap them and cover them at least, from the, at least from the top with plastic of some sort, you know, so when you spray water or, or spray this degreaser, it will not get on those uh, electronic parts which can cause all kind of problems, so be careful. So once you do that, you wait maybe like 15 minutes for engine degreaser to work and bring up uh, dirt or anything like that. You can use, use a brush like this to scrub areas that you, you know, a metal part area that of the engine bay that you want to, to clean with this, you know. Uh, this is handy because it has a handle. Instead of reaching, you might get cut on your fingers with, you know, the... So with the handle, it put, kind of protect your finger from, you know, um, getting cut, right? Drying time is completed. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a protective coating or those tire uh, protection and see so how it So to make your engine bay look shiny, I'm gonna be using uh, Ultra Shine Spray Wash. It works maybe like 70%. They're a little thin. And also use uh, tie Shine here. You know, this should give me very, uh, especially with the dark plastic, will stand out pretty good. And then I'm gonna be using uh, this uh, microfiber to apply this, you know, or wipe them off, or, you know, after I apply this, you know, kind of wipe on top of it again to go over, but not too much because I want to leave protective layer on my engine bay. Go ahead and shut off the engine and open the hood. Now the engine is still very hot, especially this area here. So you can wait a few more minutes before you're applying your, uh, you know, armor oil or tire shine or other products. So I'm gonna wait maybe a few more minutes. So basically I'm gonna be applying on, you know, any black areas or black color here. Pretty much everything, you know, maybe not the metal part, but anything black or, you know, uh, horses, things like that. Look at this, looks pretty good now with the, after the uh, engine decreaser a lot better a lot better so you can definitely you know when you apply the um, uh, the shiny ingredients here it should be good so i'm gonna be actually applying more here to to make them stand out uh, air filter compartment here a little bit more here so apply this product first see how it goes you know So I'm pretty do on here. Avoid, um, you know, spraying on the like electronic uh, area there or components there. I'll let them dry maybe for a few minutes. Avoid this actually. <laughs> Still a little wet here, but that's okay. It's a fuse box, just be careful. Still pretty hot so also i'm gonna try this why not now's the time to see which product give you the really nice coat and shininess 
just try a little bit on different some area here don't go too crazy right seem to be I think I try not to do that over there seem to give me a immediate shininess better than the, the, the previous product it's kind of wet now <laughs> Maybe because it's wet. We'll see. If you don't want it to drip to your metal part, maybe apply it on the microfiber and then just, you know, use the microfiber to rub against this. Maybe better. It looks pretty good. I haven't wiped it down yet. I just spray the, um, the tire spray on here and you know it look wet right now so I'm gonna wait a few minutes and maybe you know wipe them down a little bit I guess but now I might might do that oh though you do my big beard there Inside, man. Metal part. All of these. That knee, man, been fire fire. Can't make it. Let me man. Front side, guy. Wow, look at that, huh? Shiny now. Like new. Front side, guy. I'm gonna try Thai shy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just see if um, I use too many product at the moment, but I'm gonna see how that work out. I mean, it's coming along pretty good. Maybe just do a little bit more here. It's already look good. I'm just gonna see if it actually enhances it. I also use a metal brush to clean some of the area behind the, uh, the alternator here and then uh, wipe it off with uh, microfiber. Uh, I apply a little bit on the brush, I apply a little bit of uh, WD-40 that helps to uh, loosen the, uh, the, to the grease. Finely clean certain metal area, I use this and then I spray a little bit of uh, WD-40 and then just uh, rub it against it and then followed by a microfiber. Yeah, wipe it down a little bit. My my rat little bit of uh, dirt here. But I'm gonna just, I think it should be pretty much done. So just, it's, just want to make sure they look kind of even, not like wet, have a water spot or look like water spot on top. Just gonna, you know, kind of wipe down a little bit, make it look even. I think it's, I think it's uh, pretty much done. Pretty happy with the result right now look much huge much better than before anyway thanks for watching and uh, subscribe to my uh, channel if you like my videos uh, and I will see you on the next video have a great day and a happy 4th of July bye for now